Gad, a troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at the last. Genesis, chapter 49, verse 19. Some of us have been like the tribe of Gad. For a while, our adversaries were too many for us, they came upon us like a troop. Yes, and for the moment, they overcame us, and they exulted greatly because of their temporary victory. Thus they only proved the first part of the family heritage to be really ours, for Christ's people, like Gad, shall have a troop overcoming them. This being overcome is very painful, and we should have despaired if we had not by faith believed the second line of our Father's benediction, he shall overcome at the last. All swell that ends well, said the world's poet, William Shakespeare, and he spoke the truth. A war is to be judged, not by first success or defeats, but by that which happens at the last. The Lord will give to truth and righteousness victory at the last, and as Mr. Bunyan says, that means forever, for nothing can come after the last. What we need is patient perseverance in well-doing, with calm confidence in our glorious Captain. Christ, our Lord Jesus, would teach us his holy art of setting the face like a flint to go through with work or suffering until we can say, it is finished. Hallelujah! Victory, victory! We believe the promise. He shall overcome at the last. Amen.